Yaman, yeah, Yaman, yeah, of course, uh, the moment of truth, the moment we all have been waiting for is uh, right here. And uh, without uh, much further ado, I'd like uh, to welcome my guest uh, right about now, uh, Jambo. Kindly, uh, salami ya wanainchi uko inje. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you first for having me. My name is Immaculate Juma, but my musician name is Aima Music. Aima Music. Yes. So you have uh, like uh, your music album or tracks out there? Yes, I have tracks out there. Okay. Uh, you know, today usually sample like new music, so we'll sample some of yes. your tracks out here. Absolutely. Of course, uh, I just want to go into the thick of things. Yeah. And uh, I understand you are a lawyer. And of course, uh, pale in our social media pages, to make we are going to be having Wakili in studio. Uh, kindly tell us who are your clients or uh, what uh, what specific area in law have you majored in? Okay, so personally, I've majored in commercial law. So that uh, includes contracts, um, IP, uh, what else, land, other kind of contracts. So basically contracts in general mm -hmm. um, for companies, for corporations, all that. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So that's what I've majored in. But okay. now, uh -huh. as as a firm, as a legal consultancy, we major mostly in IP protection and management mm -hmm. for creatives, mm -hmm. because I'm a creative, so I'm biased. Okay. Yeah. Of course, uh, don't uh, don't give us so, so much of the uh, lawyer you. jargon, so that uh, at least to support us here. And uh, I just want to start off. Uh, I understand uh, these past uh, two days you are doing a clinic. Yes. You know, you are talking about contracts and whatnot. Uh, can you maybe tell us uh, what are some of uh, some of the things you know as an artist mm -hmm. when you're about to sign a contract you have done your work you have done your project what are some of the key details you're supposed to look out for mm -hmm. you know before you sign a particular contract okay that's a very good question but it's also very broad najwa akili says it depends mm -hmm. <laughs> but um if you've done your work and you're getting into a contract you know the thing is different uh, industries have different types of contract film ikonazake music ikonazake animation ikonazake so I think I tell every artist first, do basic research. Naja Google is free. Mm -hmm. on the kind of contract that get you can get into. Angalia YouTube pia kuna explainer videos. Mm -hmm. But the most, most important thing in a contract ni kuangalia your rights as an artist. Okay. Um what exactly are they taking from you or are they do they want to use? And ukiangalia now yourself as an artist, Naja Artists have different capabilities, people have different ranks. So, you know, I like to say I'm upcoming. I'm mm -hmm. in the industry for 20 years. We cannot have the same, uh, we won't have the same terms and conditions. For sure. That's, the, that's just the truth. For sure. Um, so, but at, at the end of it, how is your work going to be used? Na utai protect artists to make a vibaya. Talking about uh, protection, yeah. You know, artists, uh, even as yourself, you'll uh, end up doing collaborations, you know, or collaborating uh, with other artists. And uh, how can you, you know, uh, protect yourself, you know, when you are self personally, when you want to do a collab with someone so that uh, let's say this particular work gains 100 million views mm. or uh, fetches 10 million Kenyan shillings. How do you ensure that you get, you know, your value for money? That's a good question. So we say this, kuna, kuna biashara ya um, ziki or collaborating, alafu kuna sasa, your rights. Mm -hmm. You need to find, a, find out how to balance these two because sometimes you might find kuna collab unafanya like somebody like Calligraph Jones ama like a bigger artist hata kama si mziki any other um, uh, creative segment mm -hmm. na um say this person has reach akona networks akona followers okay lakini uh, the catch is anakwambia either um lipe for that collab ama u surrender rights zako mm -hmm. so you do you have to ukai ujite mkutano you have a talk with yourself and you're like okay mm -hmm. what in the long, what is the long game for me as an artist do I want exposure? If you want exposure, then that's a perfect deal for you. Where you get now, ujuli kana na watu. You on somebody's track, me collab, they get millions of views. Like in your party pesa. But if the long game is to make sustainable income, yani unataka kupata kitu kwa mfuko yako sasa, you have to have those, have those hard conversations at the beginning of this collab. Ile mjoe, okay, fine. To get another pesa apa, how does that work? Because unajua, think about mziki. It can make actually any any creative uh, craft. It can make money ten years from the time you make it, other twenty years. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't have that conversation, mkianza ita sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Of course, uh, I have this particular question. Yeah? I was uh, reading through your website, yeah. and of course, uh, there was a particularly interesting article about um, the uni I, a Machakos University student yes. versus uh, the university. Uh, how can artists, you know, protect themselves against uh, such kind of cases? Of course, yesterday we saw. Uh, 
who is this uh, MC full stop you know someone uh, spreading misinformation about him yeah. you know in such a particular case yeah. you know what steps should he take tafuta wakili find alive because i like will uh-huh. tell you now what options you have okay nachiki um that's that's why we go to school to do this thing <laughs> to to advise you so say na at an instance like that nachiki sasa kuna ume you raised two legal issues in that particular question ume raised issue ya ku tumika image yeah. because now you see somebody can't use your image to kutumia to hivyo to hata kama amechukua hata kama ni constitution flani mm-hmm. like kuna kesi ya somebody some guy some border border rider in Nairobi alienda rafiki bank ku withdraw pesa waka capture na camera mm-hmm. alafu kanza kumtumia kwa marketing material yao wakama he told them to stop wakakata mm-hmm. this guy ended up getting 2 million shillings wow from rafiki bank because they used his image without no consent. consent exactly mm-hmm. and the flip side pia ni mtu akianza ku spread rumors juu yako mm-hmm. una defamation sasa mm-hmm. it's called defamation somebody is uh, ana ana they're hurting your character they're hurting your image mm-hmm. you can sue them for that All right. Yeah. Na kwanza tena sana. Of course, uh, if you're logging in right about now, we are having a very interesting uh, guest uh, with us. Of course, I'm uh, reminding you that you can find us uh, via the web www.blueradio.co.ke and uh, we are in this building all the way up to one o'clock. Right about now, we're taking a very uh, short musical break. When we do come back, please I emphasize what we kai a lot kwa sababu mo coming your way and of course i'm joined by the uh the one and only immaculate uh, juma of course uh i will take this opportunity here to uh, remind you of our social media question of the day uh what is that one a trait in men that ladies find unattractive and of course uh, right about now yeah i just want uh, to pick her brain on what uh, she thinks about it oh gosh on the spot um What is the one trait that women find unattractive? Yes. Najua women to go different. Then <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. so what I might find unattractive, ngina me find attractive. Mm-hmm. Um so no get no then I'll ask I'll become a lawyer. So physically, I'm a characteristic, I'm a personality wise. I'm a top of the head. Yeah, exactly top of the head. It should be a top of the head. Unattractive. Somebody who's munya akona kiburi. <laughs> a proud person. A proud person. When you up when you flex to you to enter just they are proud for the sake of what they have not who they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's quite interesting. Of course uh you do have to do the necessary at blue radio ke is where you can find us on all social media platforms. And of course uh in this particular hour I want uh Wakili to introduce uh, her company. Of course uh I understand she represents uh, a particular organization and i want to uh, write about now are uh, you to tell us more about you know what is it that you do specifically in the organization and of course if anyone listening in has uh, legal issues where can they find you physically or on uh, the social pages okay um i work for atlo kenya um, but we are registered as culture shift limited it's a legal consultancy based in nairobi we handle um issues that uh, creatives face so we represent creatives we also consult for creatives mm-hmm. but over and above that we are not just a kawaida legal consultancy so we also um we have trainings um with people and organizations and train them on how best to work with artists we also have um resources academic and also blog so we blog to on our blog network um, www.atlokenya you can find our blog articles there where we comment on happenings in the industry so if something happens in let's say nonini swing somebody to not talk, we talk about it for so la swing azimi we talk about it okay um nairobi has issued uh, a waiver for licenses in film to about it so we do a lot of things and we've recently gone into content production okay so we have a youtube channel called atlo kenya we have launched a series called the alternative that is trying to figure out different ways the ecosystem the art ecosystem can work for artists Naja, we we like to borrow things mm-hmm. and i i'm not at it for reinventing the wheel i'm just saying just see how the wheel can work for you So don't just take the value chain from Europe from China from wherever and then just try and copy paste that to see what works for this particular place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Of course I was uh, yesterday watching some of uh, the pieces. Of course uh, what I found interesting is uh, this piece where you are talking about the relationship between I don't know if it's uh, the relationship between the artists and the market uh, but I really found 
the relationship part being very good you know because as an artist once you have done your thing in the studio then now you have to have a particular relationship with your marketer who has to do the end or rather the process of selling the art out yes. there so yeah uh, can you tell us uh why are you you know going so hard in terms of uh, creating awareness uh, by talking to artists talking to market people in the industry why is it important why is it important because naja the thing with artists is like we like to create me as an artist maze I mm-hmm. can spend a week in studio arastakula like i will not sleep i will i love to create mm-hmm. shidani we forget that after creation you have to push the product yeah as more understand kuna vitu zingine ne tano you have to be aware of marketing promotion mm-hmm. legal accounting finances all those things mm-hmm. so napata you might find it's 10% talent 90% business okay so you have to be acquainted with the business side hata kama utaki you have to either that or find somebody who knows what they are doing to help you like a manager mm-hmm. very nice and uh you know right now uh with Kenya everything going digital and of course uh right now everyone is in the digital spaces digital migration and all that how was uh, the law part you know or uh, pardon me the art industry been affected by this digital transformation and you know has there been any new you know uh, legal you know uh what is the word any new legal uh uh what is, i am missing the word issues yeah exactly what are some of the new legal issues you know in this digital age, age you know that is affecting artists and uh, the creative industry hey your questions are new motor okay so, <laughs> so um the thing is the digital space is here to stay okay. we were afraid of it we didn't know what possibilities it could have mm-hmm. but it can go either way so for the digital for the for the artist who used to make money from um the, the analog ways physical copies and all of that mm-hmm. they have been a bit disadvantaged because as everything is online because now people can just download kuna bootleg kuna piracy na vitu kama hizo uh there's this uh gospel artist who wame wame toka muziki because they're like their music has been so pirated wame watcha mm-hmm. but in my thinking again that's where business development comes in the digital space needs to work for you so find ways around it na chiksa we are saying all um you know movies are available on netflix and now you don't have to use you don't have to sell them hard copy where you could make most money but mm-hmm. how do you get netflix to commission a film with you okay so it's finding different ways and different avenues but exploring that that's why i'm saying it's really important also to keep up with the emerging technologies tiktok instagram research find out what the guys who are succeeding are doing mm-hmm. yeah very nice very nice of course and uh <coughs> pardon me there's something very interesting i uh, would like you to debunk for us yeah you know in every particular industry there usually myths and misconceptions what are some of the uh, myths and misconceptions when it comes to uh, art law yeah you know legal frameworks in the creative industry what are some of these myths and misconceptions one myth is that we don't have laws that protect creatives mm-hmm. we do okay um it's just that we don't have many lawyers practicing in this space they're coming up right now um it's also the misconception that now uh, creatives are left by themselves they have nobody to rely on that's also false it's just that we as again as creatives we get so stuck in our minds that you know we are always fighting and that's the thing also growing up in this country being a creative is an act of rebellion mm-hmm. from the time you're a kid so you get so caught up in that rebellious mind space that you forget that there are people who actually you can work with Mm-hmm. these collaborations you can make um another misconception is um i have to work by myself you don't have to work by yourself mm-hmm. the be- the biggest thing that uh naja uh, Ho- nollywood has discovered hollywood work on is networks and collaborations mm-hmm. yeah for sure you know konzuri tena san of course uh before we go on this uh musical break how would you define art in your own words uh art is giving um giving showing you what i could say but i can't say showing me what you could say i could say but can't but can't maybe say. i don't have the words mm-hmm. so i'll show you how what what it is i want to say but i'll sing it to you mm-hmm. yeah the tena sana of course if you're joining us uh, right about now we are in the building with our immaculate juma who is 
actually a lawyer yes you heard me right she is a lawyer and of course uh, the show on here is we talk with man like kipto right about now yes i'm going to be serving uh, or rather sending this fantastic track with kid chris brown call me every day so right 16 minutes past at 12 o'clock heaven of course uh, and of course uh, ni kama tunaenda binguni kidogo man like it right about now of course uh, if you're logging in thank you very much for joining me or rather keeping it uh, blue radio all the way from 9 a.m. to right about now of course uh, yeah man yeah man that is the voice of uh, the lawyer of course i told you she is an artist yeah man yeah man she be telling you uh, or rather telling us how uh, this song came to be what uh, was the inspiration for this song heaven is a love song okay um and it's a love song communicating that i am afraid to be in love with you because character development mm -hmm. but i'm going to risk it mm -hmm. and at the time i was writing it i wasn't in love with anybody but i was imagining that's how i would feel when i'm in love mm -hmm. i feel like anyway, i'm seeing heaven in this man's eyes mm -hmm. i want to be his wife that's how i feel I would feel that's how I think I would feel if I was in love. <laughs> that's how I read it. All right. Hey. Mashallah, Asilo nasema mashallah. Mashallah. Of course, uh I wanted uh, to ask her something, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Let me bring my big book very close. That book is huge. It's very huge. Uh there's this uh what is this, yeah. Uh, what are some of the specific legal issues commonly arising in the creative industry? Okay. Mm. Um, the biggest issue is a misunderstanding of the creativity. <coughs> sorry, the creativity and your rights in the creativity. Okay. Um, uh, that's just. I think that's the biggest uh, issue that we have. Where artists don't know that somebody can't take your work. Mm. I'm a you also can't take somebody's work and use it in your work. Mm -hmm. um, another issue is um, the, the perception that artists have about the business side of the creativity, where we, they don't want to involve themselves because it's boring. Mm -hmm. Going through contracts is boring. Reading up is boring. Research is boring. You'd rather be in studio. You'd rather be behind a camera. Mm -hmm. But you have to. Uh, mm -hmm. Another issue, I think, could also be not speaking up when something bad happens to you. Mm -hmm. now me or queen jaman okay. but we are not saying anything because we're like unaogopa if you say something utapata makazi tena um that's i think off the top of my head are the three issues i can think of right now okay and um you know uh, whatever you said has really taken me back to a time uh, you're doing this uh, unit yeah and our lecturer was very very strict on us uh, she was telling us uh, copyright is very very something very very serious and of course if you are found infringing copyright you know you could be uh you could be arrested you could go to jail how can uh, artists protect themselves and also protect their work you know from uh from people not using it uh, wrongly mm -hmm. and also so that they can show you know they benefit from such works okay one thing um make sure people know that this is your work so how do you do that not check if you put if i put my song up on youtube i have to put my name Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Last opportunity and decay, all rights reserved. Mm -hmm. Copyright ca copyright is uh, owned by Immaculate. Mm -hmm. So then Apple Ushajua, if you come to my music and you actively steal it, you know you stole it. Mm -hmm. So basically what I've done, I've put you on notice. When I shall check when movies begin, this holy this Hollywood movies, um at the beginning in Anduka all rights reserved. Yeah. They're telling you everything in this movie is protected so if you steal and we come for you you can't say you didn't know mm -hmm. that's one the other thing is also registration of your work if okay. you can register please do it's a thousand bob literally mm -hmm. and um you can do it online you see unajo mini kianza practice when i started practicing law you had to physically take copies to nhif building at community fifth floor <laughs> and you had to take copies and copies and copies and documents and forms now it's online you mm -hmm. just have to just type in www.kekobo.com that's kenya copyright board mm -hmm. put in your details create an account um put all your work there you can you can put one work at a time or you can put all the work you've put you've created um register that you get a certificate but nini kama title ya shamba ama logbook it's your right it's your title to your property okay uh, another way also is now take action if somebody misuses your work mm -hmm. Major, 
the thing the biggest issue that we have in this in, in most creative industries is we complain but we don't complain to the right channels if you complain twitter it'll share twitter mm-hmm. if you complain on instagram it'll end there if you're going through the channels go through the court system go through a lawyer go through the tribunals you have to exercise your rights nobody's going to protect them for you not even we can love you as an artist but if you're not doing anything about your misuse of your work nothing else is going to happen mm-hmm. yeah all right uh, right now yeah I believe uh, there are some events you know uh, in in the world of course uh, for example when uh, the meteorite struck uh, struck earth the dinosaurs were wiped out and uh, that kind of thing uh, can you tell us you know what are some of the cases uh, in the creative uh, industry that you know did occur that really changed the uh, legal practice and how you know lawyers approach uh, the creative industry Well now with uh, I think the last few years we've realized by the way there's something happening in the cultural and the in cultural industry and arts industries in okay. Africa and we call it the African Renaissance like we are waking up to realize by the way we have so much creativity and talent on the continent mm-hmm. so with that comes now the dynamics of okay we have the talent we have the culture how do we create and how do we create it to work for us and how do we protect the work mm-hmm. um so you find more and more people coming out and saying somebody has to learn my work i mm-hmm. want to you to stop like that whole south as azimio thing when they came out and said you guys are using our work we understand you guys are the opposition but you're using our work incorrectly mm-hmm. stop if you find um even nonini suing brian mutinda yeah. winning I, i recently discovered that when nonini alikona toyo wimbo ya weka mu brian was four years old <laughs> He's been sued when he's 24 or 23 and uh-huh. he's been sued and his and Nonini has won so creatives are understanding more and more that ownership of your work mm-hmm. that um it needs to be protected so there are more and more cases coming up that are they haven't existed before like ile ya uh, rafik uh, trafiki um mm-hmm. the the ex machakos university student yeah those you can find maybe a handful of cases like that but the more we get people suing and winning the more we create um resources in court zileza it becomes by the way i can't steal somebody's images because i want to use it mm-hmm. so the biggest cases i think i would say is um the recent one for brand mutinda and nonini where now people are realizing i can't take somebody's work and use even though i'm a content creator siwezi mm-hmm. another one would be um there's a lot of mcsk ones but where now it was challenged it got to a point in the parliament where now musicians are now going to own 50 plus percent of their skiza tunes before they were getting i think even it was a very small amount but now it got to parliament where the parliament said now okay mm-hmm. musicians need to earn most of the money yeah it came out it stemmed from a case mm-hmm. against um, mcsk after guys were getting a thaumbili thautatu na that oh, ya kutoa oh my god wait 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 very hayawani uh, maneno and of course uh, right now let's say uh, someone is listening in and uh, they have been affected someone like uh, took their work without permission they didn't know uh, this person is going to use it you know uh, how can they you know what is the first step they should take or rather like uh, walk us through mm-hmm. this thing has happened okay. i've been aware this thing has happened yeah what is uh, the steps i should take should i like uh, instantly just uh, call any lawyer and be like buda nimefanywa ile kitu how should one approach uh, such a situation it depends pale umepata kazi yako so okay. for example if you are a photographer and you find <coughs> somebody on instagram using your images mm-hmm. instagram has a take down policy where you complain and report the picture and then you report because it's infringing your rights they investigate wana wanya enyewe it's you who made that picture they take down that picture mm-hmm. and then now you can go a step further and kanya um to to mm-hmm. warn them and tell them i have seen what you're doing and i know what you're doing this is my work i made this work on such a such date so um i demand that you stop siku liza i'm demanding that you stop mm-hmm. at that point when they don't listen to your demand then now you can get an advocate to write a letter mm-hmm. kusema also the, the difference between a lawyer and an advocate okay so i'm an advocate <laughs> <laughs> but um the you get an advocate who's been admitted to the bar to write a letter to this person to desist from using your work okay at that point as poskiza then you sue mm-hmm. yeah so by the time somebody is being sued you the, a couple of things have happened okay. the person has been warned severally and they have refused yes 
So uh, someone must be warned first. You must warn a person first mm-hmm. because sometimes people also don't know the infringing. Sometimes you might find you think it's it's you see how this copyright free music on YouTube um yeah. you think it's Pinterest or it's um Unsplash and you think nobody owns this work so I can use it. Yeah. Sometimes you honestly don't know using somebody's work. Mm-hmm. So somebody has to come out and warn you first. Okay. Yeah. Very very powerful. Right now uh, if you're logging in Mazai I just have to remind you that we are in studio with a uh, Emma the artist ni Emma ama Ima. Aima. Aima, okay. The artist, of course, uh, an advocate, if I'm not wrong, yes. uh, of the High Court of Kenya. Hey, you're in a sound, so... All right. No, it, okay. You're going to cause it offline, yeah? Of course, uh, if you have any questions for her, of course, uh, direct it to our social media pages at Blue Radio KE and myself at Ian Chebi, of course, on all social media platforms. Of course, uh, we are in this building all the way up to one o'clock, so must feel free to engage with us. I'll see you. Let's go. When you switch on your radio. When you switch on your radio. It's pure vibes. Make no mistake. This this is Blue Radio. You're listening to Blue Radio bringing the vibe all right all right the late aka featuring kido kido actually spelled k d d o of course i'm playing right here on we talk my good name this morning or rather hey atasi morning maze this uh afternoon is man like kipto of course i'm joined by the fabulous ima immaculate juma who is an advocate but they learned me understand there's a difference between an advocate and a lawyer i'll see you thank you by the way for uh bringing me in the know of course and of course uh, right about now yeah if you're logging in or joining us thank you very very much of course uh, we are in the tailor end of this conversation and of course i'm going to be uh, handing uh, the mantle to her to uh, bring you to speed in some uh true speed with some very valuable information take it away thank you very much first thank you first for having us having me um on this on the channel oh, sorry on the channel this is not youtube mm-hmm. on, this, on the show i appreciate it very much so thank you shout out to you um we just want to thank also the people who brought us here so this creatives nest foundation please um f- find them i think they're on linkedin they're on twitter they're on instagram it is an organization run by dan sonko um they look out for artists they have projects that they work with artists on so if you're in Mombasa and you're an yeah. artist please um those are, that's a contact to have also Swahili Port Hub as well I think it's uh, near, near the National Assembly um the County Assembly rather um they also work with creative so it's a creative and tech hub as well so these people are the ones who got us here to talk to creatives and have the legal aid clinic we also have um just have to shout out ip garage of course and mms advocates also who also joined us for this particular um event and if you'd like to find us we are everywhere We're on linkedin twitter instagram facebook um we have a website called artlockenya.com um you can also email us at info at artlockenya.com um my personal info my personal um email for work is immaculate juma at artlockenya.com so we'll answer your questions in case you have any questions or follow ups that you'd like to make please feel free all right all right of course uh before you before uh before you exit yeah mm-hmm. uh finally yesterday or rather the two days that uh, you were in Mombasa what was uh, what was the key takeaway for you and your team of course after conducting uh, the workshop there's work to be done there's work to be done also yeah all right all right now of course uh, if you're joining us thank you very much uh i'm going to be directing you to our youtube page a little bit later of course uh, so that you can catch this exclusive and more of course at blue radio ke on all social media platforms right about now yes Sabi Girl with a brand new track in a Julikana Kama Girl Next Door. Let's uh, sample it and uh, kindly let me know is it a hit or is it a miss?